really appreciate you all coming over today. You know, this is obviously, you know, one of the days that I enjoy most. Um, you know, first of all, uh, we have camp starting, you know, the players reporting today, which we look forward to that challenge. But uh, it's always accompanied by the crowd in the back, uh, the Knicks Kids Luncheon that, you know, Miss Terry and all the people in our organization who support the Knicks Kids work so hard. Um, to try to help these young kids have a better opportunity to be successful in life and have a better quality of life. So, uh, as you all know, and I've said before, this is all about my dad and his legacy of what he tried to do, and uh, hopefully he'd be proud of what we're doing here today. Still your favorite day of the year? My favorite day of the year. Yeah, it's great to, um, you know, I think when you're in a position of leadership, uh, you always want to be somebody that somebody can emulate and care enough about somebody else to help them for their benefit and uh, that not only goes for the football program and the football team but it also goes for folks in the community and uh, we always choose to try to help young kids do that. And this has been around 20 years. What does it mean to look back 20 years and now? Well this has grown into something beyond even what we thought. You know to be able to accomplish the projects uh, that we've been able to accomplish in the past in the community whether it's you know Brewers Porch or uh, going to Juvenile Detention Center classroom now or the 17 for 17 houses that we uh, partnered with Habitat for Humanity uh, to be able to give away, you know, what's grown into a half a million dollars a year. You know, at this event, um, I never really ever imagined that it would happen this way. Um, but I really do think that Miss Terry uh, has been the driving force behind this in terms of um, picking out great projects and uh, things that people love to support. Coach, how often uh, when you spend days like today reflecting on your father and sort of his mission and days like today when you think about uh, his ultimate goal? Well, you know, I think all of us, I mean, growing up, I still feel like I'm growing up. I know you think I'm old, but I <laughs> still feel like I'm growing up. I think we all want our parents to be proud of what we do. Uh, and. Um, I know my dad probably uh, would have a little pride in what we've been able to accomplish professionally as in coaching, but I think he would be most proud of uh, what we do here because this is something that was really, really important to him. I mean, every kid stopped by his service station when they needed a basketball or their basketball blew up or whatever, or they needed five bucks and did hold their spare tire until you know they got what they needed. So. Uh, as well as starting Pop Warner football in our area. I mean, I, I think uh, a lot of people have a lot of respect for his legacy, and uh, this is one way that we try to keep it going and keep Coach, it alive. Coach, how many more guys you get players involved in this organization? Here, signing autographs, Habitat House, all the events, stuff like that. It's easy. You know, we, we, we have more guys that are willing to do it than, you know, probably uh, can get involved, but. And I think this is a great lesson for players, you know, to learn how to give back to the community, to uh, set a good example. Uh, and I think they all really feel good uh, when they do something like this. You know, I think everybody has got a lot of pressure on them to do a lot of things, whether it's academically, whether it's, you know, creating an image as a person, whether it's, you know, football related. Uh, so to be able to do something like this, I think the players really, really enjoy it. And I love doing it with them because it's, it's one of those times, just like last night when we had all the freshmen out for, you know, the cookout and the tubing and all that. It's it's an opportunity to be around players when you're not uh, in a meeting or coaching or on the field or whatever. And and I think that really helps uh, understand them, uh, and they see you in a different light, which is probably good for everyone's respect and trust. As we're all here celebrating this great occasion, unfortunately your colleague Urban Meyer is not going through a great time. Is there anything you'd want to say about that? Well, I don't think it's my place to really comment on it. I don't know. I don't know the facts. I don't know any details. Uh, I, I just, I don't think it'd be fair for me to, to say that. I mean, we all have a tremendous amount of respect for treating other people, uh, male or female, you know, the right way. But. Um, you know, I, I really don't know enough about it to make a comment one way or the other, and I'm sure the people at Ohio State will do a fantastic job of investigating and doing what they need to do to make it right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Thank you. Coach.